Hi, I'm Peter Campion, and I'm going to read a couple of poems that relate to each other from my new book, One Summer Evening at the Falls, from the Phoenix Poets series. The first poem is a free adaptation from the twelfth book of Ovid's Metamorphoses. After Ovid, the house of rumor, between the earth and ocean and the sky, there is a border where all three touch. From here, whatever place, however far, can be seen, and every word we utter, heard. Rumor, whom some call Fama, has her house on an alp at the summit. There are a thousand windows and door frames on this house, but no door, no window, the always echoing walls are echoing brass, so the rooms swell with voices doubling. No quiet, never silence in any part, but also never clamor, little murmur of voices. Imagine ocean when you listen from far off, or thunder from vanished cloud banks, low receding tremors, even as halls fill with arrivals, mixtures and dispersals, truths and interpretations, rumors by the thousand bend and merge as some poor discourse into empty ears as others jabber elsewhere, as their stories grow, as their listeners all go tell some others. Here comes stray faith and hair-brained. Here comes error with vacuous satisfaction and poor reflexive fear. Here come surprise revolt and the specious whispers. Fama, whatever happens round the earth or skies, or oceans, she sees who everywhere listens. The second poem is called Call, C-A-L-L. -L. Call, mumbles and shouts, sweet talk and haggling, turned ones and zeros, traveling light speed over gutter spouts and lilac sprigs, invisible and everywhere, incessant coil and spill, building to wide electromagnetizing wave on wave. And soon, one voice in there is everything. The way a city glints on the windshield then becomes your life. Those tenuous first weeks, a thousand miles apart, the lilt of your hey babe, or clipped, sidestepping hesitance, or abandon, played on my mind all day, enveloping, and apart again now, thinking our shared heat, our tacit animal pact, dissolved to habit because I squandered it, I picture you, your hair let down and sparkling through moats in the slant rays. The image smudges, leaves a retinal streak of distances, wheat fields and highways tapering to heat mirages, strip malls and gullies of ragweed, as everywhere the messages fissure and merge devotion and disparagement and cries in one long river through the air, surrender and command, fused with complaint and praise, the voices flume through grand hotels and rotted sides of railroad cars, abandoned to scraggling sumac. Only no code I punch unlocks the dream that's come three nights now running. Guardrails stream past, 
than brown stones lashed by sheets of rain. And you, beyond my dream of you, murmur your invitation down from the ether. Call when you arrive. I'll buzz you in. Thanks.